Can I ask? Whatever. Are you still interested in selling that crocodile mask? Well, you show me a hundred dollars, and the mask is yours. I have a hundred dollars. You still want to sell that crocodile mask? That's a hundred dollars, sure enough. The mask is yours. Sir. There you go. Carefully don't bite you now. Yeah, thanks. Don't you go forgetting your leg yet? A free bottle of master gambling oil. The sign said I could get Lady Luck oil instead. Well, I wasn't thinking a man as young as you would be needing that kind of remedy. But if you had a problem with your own... Oh, that's all right. Believe me, I don't need it. I'll just stick with this. Thanks, anyway. <laughs> of course, it ain't none of my business if you do it. I don't need it. Of course you don't. Like the lecture is just starting, Gabriel decides to record the session. Voodoo is the tribal religion of Africa. But the name Voodoo is actually a banner head under which resides an entire body of distinct tribal belief systems. The word Voodoo may sound familiar to you. What is known in the States as Voodoo is actually an amalgamation of African religious systems. Voodoo. European religions, primarily Catholicism. All of the subcults of African Voodoo have certain things in common. The most important is the worship of the pantheon of spirits instead of the single deity that the Christian and Gospel systems have. Some of these spirits are elementals. Some relate to specific tasks or places. Some represent important tribal leaders. This spirit worship is what makes Voodoo so easily adaptable. Spirits, it's no problem to add a few more. Say, for example, the Virgin Mary. At the height of tribal Africa, warfare was common. One tribe would conquer another. Loa, important in the conqueror's tribal system, would be adopted readily into the conquered tribe's Loa pantheon. In this way, many of the Voodoo gods spread and mingled throughout tribal Africa, enriching the belief system and causing innumerable issues. The basis for the Voodoo religion seems to be as old as man himself. It has much in common with many early pagan practices. Animal totems, sympathetic magic, elemental spirits in the trees, the heavens, the bodies of the sea. Africa is believed by many to be the cradle of the human race. Some of the Voodoo know the meaning as old as the Garden of Eden itself. We still can't explain some of the real power of these primary religions and know the I said primal, not primitive. There are African bokors who baffle our scientists with their supernatural powers. Now, let's discuss the elements of voodoo. <sighs> Fascinating guy. In voodoo, the spirits are called the Lord. During a voodoo ceremony, celebrants are possessed by the law. This is called the rhythm. The human worship is seen as a horse, and the law is the divine horseman. A person being ridden by a loa takes on the characteristics of that spirit and becomes, in effect, merely a vessel for the more powerful entity. Some of the old original African loa include Amara, the great serpent god, as ruler of the mistress of the Mother Nabal, or Gabriel, 
Friday, the Lord of the Aqua, the Spirit of the Lake, Spirit of the Crossroads. And the cruelest and most dangerous, Mogul Madagri, the Lord of Destruction. Oh, I gotta get more sleep at night. Uh, the tribe specific law can have as much or more power as the more widely worshipped law. For instance, a particular tribe might revere highly the law of an ancestor who was a legendary hunter or politician. Food on temples are called hungrows. Their priests, hungry or vocal priests. Their priestesses, Mama Loa. In a voodoo home form, there's a ritual circle marked by a center pole called a poto mitai. The ritual circle is prepared with a bele, a pattern of symbols. In each tribe's bele is slightly different, consisting of complex symbols that identify their special law. During ritual conclaves, initiates dance on the stage of Boku and Mama Loa, or head priestess. The use of totems or animal masks and markings was not uncommon in the original African ceremonies. Now though, all but the oldest sects have abandoned this practice. Ritual objects used during the conclaves include the ritual gourd or nassau, the ritual knife or kumbasa, that knife gives me the chills. The ritual whip, or fwet kash. And the ritual coffin, or seke madule. These items are often optional, called for by the Mama Loa for specific magical rituals. The Mama Loa is the most powerful figure in any Voodoo sect. Voodoo is a truly matriarchal system. Even the Boko knows his power is limited. Mama Loa is the supreme woman. She rules butterflies, woman, butterflies. Firelight. Gabriel? Mmm, what? I can't see. Gabriel! Get in! Yeah, it's too small for me. You must get in, Gabriel. It's not mine. It's too small. Hide, Gabriel! Hide! No! No! Let me out! Help. Young man, the lecture is over. Oh my god, sorry. The reconstructed Vebe was done for Gabriel by a technical artist. Are you a student? No. My name is Knight. Gabriel Knight. Well, you have walked into my private office, Mr. Knight. I hope you have something worthwhile to do here. If you figure it out, let me know. Mind if I pick your brain? Not if it will get you out of my office. What do you know about the voodoo murders? I've uh, read about them in the papers. I must admit to some interest. But according to the newspapers, the voodoo aspect is fake, so I haven't really pursued it. You know, Americans, especially Hollywood, treats voodoo. I'm sure there are many so-called practitioners out there that have no idea what they're doing or the power they're playing with. What can you tell me about voodoo? 
You already sat through my lecture on the subject, Mr. Knight. Perhaps next time you could stay awake and learn something. What can you tell me about St. John's Eve? It's June 23rd, the feast day of St. John the Baptist. The June 23rd has been a sacred day since the earliest times. Ancient sun worshippers used to roll a flaming wheel down a hill to celebrate the sun's descent on that day. A burning wheel? Huh. Do you know anything about Marie Laveau? While I find the colloquial bastardizations of Voodoo somewhat interesting from a surely intellectual point of view, there's not a lot of relation between people like Laveau and true Voodoo practices. Do you know anything about animal masks? As I said in my lecture, which I assume you actually listened to, is that animal masks, totems, are used extensively in most African Voodoo religions. Tell me about bebes. If you'd taken notes during my lecture, you wouldn't have to ask. Tell me about yourself. All right, Mr. Knight, I'm 35, a fully tenured professor at this university, as well as a fellow at Cambridge. My doctorate was obtained at Syracuse. Yes, Syracuse, in religious studies. I'm an agnostic, but I find human belief systems fascinating. I specialize in African religions because I grew up there. My father was a Protestant missionary. And I am heterosexual when I practice sex at home, which isn't very often. Any other questions? Uh, no. Fine. Can you tell me anything about this pattern? Wow. Interesting. Very interesting. Mind if I copy this? Be my guest. Great. I'll be right back. Here you go. You know, this is a fascinating baby. You must tell me all about its origin. Actually, I was hoping you'd tell me. Can you figure out anything about it from the symbols? Well, son, that's why I wanted a copy. I want to research the design myself. Each of the symbols in the Veve represent something. Lower, a place. Where did you get this? Have you heard of the voodoo murders? No, you're kidding. Really? Then the voodoo is authentic. The newspapers are wrong. Boy, are they wrong? You think this Veve is authentic, then? Authentic? Mr. Knight, that's like asking if the Mona Lisa is a painting. Tell you what, I'll uh, look into these symbols myself and see what I can learn about the sect that made this. I'll give you a call when I have more information. Uh, you are associated with the police, aren't you? Absolutely. But I'm, uh, undercover. You can contact me at the St. George's Bookshop in the quarter. All right. Now, I'd like to get started on this, if you don't mind. I'll be going. Good day, Mr. Knight. 